Good morning. My name is Annalisa and I am from myspiritualfriend.com. I wanted to make these videos and I feel like the timeline um, is short because I wanted to have them out before my birthday, which is coming up very quickly. Um, and I know that seems strange and I usually don't set deadlines like that, but for me it was really important because I sort of had this tug to make videos and to share my spiritual experiences with others for a few years now. And in fact, I've had the tripod and the microphone for a while now. So I guess I'll start by introducing myself. Um, again, my name is Anna Lisa, and I am a psychic medium. Is it better? A uh, psychic medium. I'm a medical intuitive. I uh, am, I have note cards because I tend to get a bit scattered. A uh, spiritualist minister. Um, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a friend, and I have had my abilities since I was little. And that seems to be pretty typical uh, with most of us. Now, some go through a pattern where they get shut off for a while, but I've always had mine to one extent or another. My um, recollection of having uh, spiritual gifts as a child was more just knowing people, like being able to know read their energy in a way and um, know things about them that I thought everybody knew. I'd have dreams that came true. I saw shadows and things like that. And I just kind of sort of took it as normal. Now I was clairaudient back then, but I didn't know that that's what was going on. I sort of just thought these common thoughts went through everybody. I don't know. Um, I started actively seeking what I believe spiritually when I was about 18 or 19. Um, I was born into a Catholic family, um, went to Episcopal churches, so it was sort of along those lines. And I knew what was taught in church, and I knew I really believed in God or a higher power, but I didn't know that I really believed what we were being taught. So I went to my first year in college, came home and felt pretty lost and lonely, and I started going to church with a friend. And I believe that church was non-denominational Christian. And I always really liked churches in the beginning um, because you really feel the love and the community. But then sort of some of that falls away from me. This is my experience. And I started seeing the undercurrents of things that I didn't really like. Um, and that's sort of just human nature as I've gotten older, just to see the inner workings of human beings. Anyhow, so I sort of stepped away from going to different, I mean, I went to tons of different churches between, you know, college, all through college and my early 20s. And I sort of kept finding that same thing happening for me. And I also kept finding that people would, um, there was sort of an inauthenticity about it. It was my experiences. doesn't have to be yours. My experiences. Um, when I was 27... 27. I came to New York City as a travel nurse. I'm no longer a practicing nurse. Um, I do have my license, but I'm not practicing. Um, but I came to New York City as a travel nurse. If you're curious about that, I can do a video on it or you can Google it yourself. It's kind of a little bit more in depth. And I finally felt comfortable going into the new age section of a bookstore and um, looking at it because I had grown up in Texas and Wisconsin and it's fairly Christian and new age thought for the most part back then and growing up was sort of scary. Um, and it's I sort of what was ingrained in me, but I knew that I had these experiences. So I wanted to figure out how could I have these experiences of, of connecting with spirit and not be evil? And how do I know it's not evil? So I had, I had all of these experiences and I've had so much growth um, since those first few things, whereas I, I now know that it, they aren't just things that happened to me, but rather I can tap into them. Um, and I feel way more empowered than I ever did. That I realize that um, I create the space around me. I create the energy around me and I choose 
what can be in my space and not in my space. Um, and I hope to be able to share that information with all of you. Um, uh, what I'd like to talk about in all of my videos, um, and these are just some examples or spiritual experiences I have had, because I know that when I have them, sometimes I go to search and see, is anybody else going through stuff like this? And that's not really the types of videos I'm finding. I'm finding videos about how to develop or how you know you're in ascension and what ascension um, symptoms are and all of that stuff. But sometimes I just want to know, like, this happened to me. Did this is like a normal thing? Like, or I've seen this, or I've, I've done this. And I sort of wanted to share those experiences too. I think it's important to kind of connect on that level with people. Um, just psychic experience of experiences I've had. I want to talk about healing, not only healing yourself. Oop, sorry, I got to watch that. Um, healing um, relationships, healing um coping patterns, but not just coping patterns that we have and dysfunctions that we have from this lifetime, but ones that we carry through from past lives. I do believe in past lives. Um, and I want to talk about healing. Um, you know, when we do clearings, I sort of have a different approach to it than I think um, I've seen on other videos. So I wanted to share that with you as well. So when we talk about clearing houses, but clearing land too, because, you know, the land is old and it has been roamed by all different types of people for thousands of years. And so I think it's important that to know that sometimes that energy is still connected here um, and how to do that and how to do it with, with love and compassion. Um, I want to talk about love and empathy and compassion and how to remain in a space of non-judgment um, because it's really, really hard sometimes. Um, we're human. We come for a human experience and um, a lot of us are sort of going through enlightenment and awakening and so how do we connect the two how do we meld into being this enlightened being and yet still in this human experience um i kind of want to talk about raising healthy highly intuitive children um i have three children they're little and they are all highly intuitive and it's been really wonderful and a great experience um, and it's fun to see them share with me what's going on for them and the experiences they're having and know that I went through those too and know that I can be a calm voice for them to tell them that it's oh that's, that's normal to have that or that's you know oh, mommy had that too and and this is what it is and you can if you're you know you don't want your guides talking to you you can tell them to talk to you later um, and and their responses are sweet and I never had any of that. I didn't have anybody to guide me. So I just sort of thought, well, I used my science brain to think that seeing shadows in my room at night as I was falling asleep was just my eyes adjusting to the dark. So um, I would like to talk about developing um, a comfort with, with talking with your children about spirit. Um, and there's just so much more that I know is going to come up. Either you as a viewer is going to say, hey, Anna, can you talk about this? Or what's your viewpoint on this? Um, I sometimes shorten my name to Anna instead of Anna Lisa. In fact, I probably do it more often than not. Um, so if you have questions or things that you want to talk about, I'd be happy to make those videos. Uh, sometimes I'll probably look pretty awful. I'll have the, you know, bedhead hair and a ponytail. Um, I'm just taking a few moments. Um, Oh, I don't want to say awful. Isn't that like strange? We are kind of hard on ourselves, but I won't be in perfection or whatever perfection is um, because I've got three little kids and I'm a stay at home mom and I do psychic medium readings and I try and squeeze everything in where I can. And if I have a quiet moment, um, I'll try and bring it to you, but I may not look super put together. Um, and I hope that you can remain in a space of non-judgment about that and um, take it for what it's worth and enjoy whatever it is I'm sharing um, and the messages I'm sharing. And uh, I, I will do it with excitement and love and joy. Um, I will try to keep the videos 10 to 15 minutes. Um, some of them may be a bit longer, but I know that not many of us have a ton of time to sit and watch these. And sometimes you just want to face it, you may be on the toilet and you want to watch a video or you may be, you know, in the car on a quick jaunt to pick up a kid and just like want to, I do listen to, to YouTube videos in my car. Um, I don't watch the screen, but I do listen to them when people are talking. So you may want to do that. Um, I also will try and keep the language clean and, and the topics clean, um, pardon the scratch, um, because I sometimes want to listen to more 
enlightened things and people get relaxed and swear and that's great and I don't I don't really care listen I swear on my own time I don't care or, I mean I'll wait for my kids but sometimes you want to listen to something around your children and um, so I'm just forewarning you that that's sort of the route I'm going so Thanks for listening. I hope you tune into more. If you like this and you seem to kind of connect with my energy, subscribe, uh, like the video, and um, keep tuned in. I'm going to roll on to another topic right now. So there should be another one connected to this and I'll be wearing the same thing. <laughs> so uh, thank you again. It was nice meeting all of you. I hope you enjoy this.